high. So I guess as of now, you will be comfortable with the props in React. If you are fine, now the next thing which we can notice here is validating your props. Like if you want to pass some default value to a property or you want to make any property as mandatory, that things can be done by using the props validation. So let's see a practical implementation where we will try to validate our properties of React component. So for putting the validation, first of all, you can observe that here I have created so many properties like name, prop array, bool, func, number and string. And later I have created a couple of things that is prop types and default props. Means whenever you create a property, you have to define the validation if required and you want to set some predefined value as well like the default value which you want to set for a particular property. So here in prop types first of all what I have done I have put the data types for each of the property like string, array, boolean, function, number and string and in those if you want that something should be compulsory means mandatory for a user to pass then in that particular case you will pass is required option as well. And in the default props, you can initialize all the properties with the default value. Like here, you can see in the function e, I'm returning the same e, all right? So it's just like the array name, if it's a boolean, then true, if it's a number or string. So you can just pass the particular value which you want to give to these properties by default. So when I'm applying this particular tag here in the index.js you can see all the default values are printed here but I haven't passed any because all are taking the values from the default props. In case if I will comment something like let's say props error, prop array which is uh, required right. So let me just save this and when I will come here now you will see that there is no value printed but it's not showing you any error for that I'll come to F12 means in the developers tool and right here you can see in the console failed prop types prop array is marked as required in app but it its value is undefined alright so ultimately it is showing you so this is how you can make some of the properties compulsory mandatory in case you want and you can also give the default values for others in case you want to make some changes like here in date in name property you want to change the value in that case anytime you can come here and can pass that particular attribute like in name let me pass all right so let's say I pass Anadi Sharma so here the value will be overwritten so if you will not pass it will take default if you will pass it will override the default value. So this is how you can put some more options with the properties in React. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.